here, aka Zip Tied Viking. Uh, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, normally I don't like talking in front of a camera, but in this situation I think it will help. Um, what I'll be doing is filming kayak fishing videos, and recently I've been noticing that uh, wind can quite often be an issue. I've been looking for ways to get around the wind noise issue. Now one is you can strip your audio down and replace it with music. It's what a lot of people do. It doesn't really give you a feel for the proper experience though that I feel. So I've been doing some research trying to find a way of getting a decent audio for the kayak fishing videos. Um, with the GoPros you run into issues with uh, basically if you want to add audio you need to open the GoPro, have a GoPro mod to the camera to allow you to add an audio input. Now that is not ideal because it leaves your camera open to the elements and yeah quite easily get damaged. So I've come across this little pack here the DJI microphone set comes with two transmitters and a receiver. Currently the receiver is sitting on the camera that's recording. I have one of the microphones here that I'm recording my audio on and another one here that will be picking up what I'm going to play through the laptop. Now I'll run through some tests that I did first. So I first picked it up and we had quite a windy Christmas here at home. So this audio I'm about to play is the microphone with no windsock, as you can see it here. Here we go, wind testing with the uh, DJI mic. This is just the recording mic with no windsock on it. It's a reasonably windy day here. Let's see what this one sounds like. See the wind noise there is quite bad. Now, one way to get around this is to use their little fluffy wind sock, or wind muff, whatever they call it, and this is how that sounds. Second up is a DJI mic with the uh, little fluffy cover standing facing into the wind, just like I was with the other test. Let's see what that one sounds like. So as you can see that sounds a lot better, there's a lot less wind noise. The only issue being that these transmitters have no waterproofing. So if you were to use it open like that on the kayak, it quite gets quite easily get water in and get damaged. So I thought, okay, well, what's the way around this? Now, the good thing about these little microphones is not only do they transmit to a receiver, but they also have inbuilt memory. So I could actually record straight to this microphone and then add the audio to the video in post. It means a lot more work, but in the long run, I think it'll be better and give a better quality product. So to get to get that working, I decided to go with a lavalier mic, which I can clip up to a shirt, to my life jacket, run this cable down the shirt, into the receiver, and actually have the receiver, sorry, the transmitter, not receiver, have the tr transmitter in another waterproof bag that will keep it safe from the elements and I've, that's the way I've decided to go. And so this is the audio with the lavalier mic. Final test, this is the uh, lavalier mic with the fluffy sock facing into the wind like I was before. Let's see what that one sounds like. So 
that should be a lot better and a lot more passable for audio for videos it'll mean you'll be able to hear the real screaming better you'll be able to hear what I'm saying you may even be able to hear what people are saying on the radio because that will be on the left hand side or the, no, the right hand side sorry but the microphone will be on the left hand side and so you'll be able to hear what other people are saying on the radios as well so it won't be so much of a one-sided one -sided communication like you normally hear. Well, thanks for sticking around and watching. I hope you learnt something. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and certainly subscribe. The more subscribers, the better. And if you think this is useful, make a comment. If you see another way of doing things or you've done things differently, add a comment. The more comments and the more information we can get flowing about this sort of thing, then the better we can all make our videos. So thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.